Hey there, Lockpickers, Wolfman here, and I've got a fun story to tell you. So we're here at Hershey Park, and the last time that I was here, I have a story about when I broke my leg. Now, I didn't actually break my leg. What happened was I tore the meniscus in my left knee. When I was a teenager, I went to Hebrew school my entire life. Some of you might know that. You know, I'm very proud of being Jewish. I make that very clear on the channel. So, I used to go be a part of a group called NCSY and they had something that were called Shabbatones. They are Jewish youth group getaways. Uh, so we had one for Hershey Park one year. And we're doing what's called the Havdalah service, which is the end of uh, the, the Shabbos, the Sabbath service. And they always had like a little dance party. So I'm sitting there with a buddy of mine, my buddy being represented by the cosplay phase, significant other show. <laughs> Uh, and I looked at him and I said, you actually, you know, you actually kind of look like him a little bit for those, so this works, works perfectly. We don't talk about you, no, no, no. I said, dude, this is the least hard rock thing I can imagine. He said, yep. So I said, let's start a mosh pit. Yep. So, we run out to the, to the dance floor, we start the mosh pit, we had rabbis in a mosh pit, so there's a checklist off my bucket list that I didn't even know I had. So, we're going, I bounce off of them, I felt myself go this way, and I felt my left knee go an extra two feet, and I fell down. <laughs> now, I'm on the ground, I realize I can't stand up without feeling immense pain. So, I then, luckily having fallen away from the dance floor, scoop myself over, to the closest chair I can find. Bearing in mind, I cannot move my left leg at all. I then very carefully get myself up into, <laughs> ignore the bending leg. This is dramatic recreation purposes. I was in a regular standard non-wheel chair with a unfunctioning left leg. With my hands and my one good leg, I pushed myself to the closest door. Bearing in mind, I had to lift and push at the same time. I then get myself to the closest door, creating a traffic jam. The counselors for NCSY come up to me. Bearing in mind, these are yeshiva students. These are people studying to be rabbis. They come up to me and say, why are you, why do you do this? Why you do, I said, I cannot feel my left leg. They said, it's a problem. I said, yes. <laughs> so they asked me, I would like that very much. Yes, thank you. Yeet. So they then carried me to the closest couch. Uh, don't expect me to do that, no. no. <laughs> well, here. We then go over In. to... We then go to the closest couch. Fast forwarding a little bit, I can now limp myself on my own, and the next morning, we end up here at Hershey. We get up to the gates. Hershey Park, beautiful as it is. Wonderful, wonderful place that it is. The entrance to Hershey. I'm not sure if they've changed it over the years. It looks like they might have. But this used to be a very steep incline. Or decline, rather. It was a very, it was a very sharp hill. So, having realized that I could not walk this hill, we then went over to the wheelchair rentals. At which point, I very quickly became everyone's best friend because I then got everyone to the front of the line for everything. Now, to wrap up the story, because it does not end there, my friends. 
<laughs> After we were done our day at Hershey, I was in a wheelchair for the whole day. And they're getting ready to run us back to the buses. And they said, okay, we're going to run you back to the bus. And I told them, I told my counselor stand in here. Hello. I said, okay, but take me to the wheelchair, to the bus first, because I cannot walk from the wheelchair return to the bus. He acknowledged, yes. Yes. <laughs> so he keeps pushing me. He pushes me so fast that people are tripping over my extended broken leg, which hurt a lot. This was a rabbinical student. I kept asking him, you're taking me to the bus first. He said yes. Yes. No pain, no gain. <laughs> we made it back up that sharp hill. He then brought me to the wheelchair return and said, get up. We have to go to the bus. To which I said, I cannot walk to the bus. Could you please take me to the bus and then return the wheelchair for me? He said, oh, that's a good idea. After acknowledging he would already do that two to three times. Needless to say, the last time that I was at Hershey Park was extremely entertaining. I hope you enjoyed the chaoticness and of the story. Painful. Yes. Yeah, people have been laughing at us this entire time. So, I then got home back to Philadelphia, found out that I tore my meniscus, had fluid drained from my leg, and had to wear a foam cast for the next three months. Woo! Yeah. Go Mosh Pits! Yes. So, that's the moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Do not mosh pit with rabbis. <laughs> <laughs> so, hope you enjoy the chaotic... Oh, Bruno's! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Can you still hear him? Nope! We hope you enjoyed the chaoticness of this story. It was certainly fun to retell. I'm sure I will retell it again sometime in the future. This might not have even been the first time I did tell the story. I honestly don't remember. But we hope you enjoyed the running around the entrance of Hershey Park. Take care. Hey there, lock pickers. We're still here at Hershey Park. We want to let you know about a sweet deal from our friends at Ultimate Wireless. You can join the UW Club. It's free to sign up. And when you first sign up, you can get 25% off. So make sure you check out the links below. And we'll see you guys later and see you with the Ultimate Wireless. Bye-bye.